Imagine you're a buyer or a seller of property and a few days before exchange, a quote comes through for dam treatment for 90,000. Well, that's what happened to a client of mine. I was got in touch with by the buyer, but obviously the seller was also interested in it. And we found that the only real cause of damp in that property was an air brick next to a sofa causing a plume of mould and condensation. That was all, £90,000. Can you believe it? There's roughly £2 billion worth of transactions that fall through in this country. So we need to work at, together to stop the cycle of profiteering and ignorance in the damp industry and within surveyors and, uh, well, let's be honest, homeowners, tenants, landlords, buyers, property professionals, we all have to work together. We live in a modern world. There are modern ways of living. We love to change our properties, update them, but they all come with consequences that may have an impact on damp. Uh, that is why you absolutely need a quality surveyor who doesn't go around referring damp at the base of the wall to a builder with vested interest. So there are three things I want from you. I want you to subscribe, to make comments and to refer to friends and family that are buying property, property professionals, uh, government agencies, uh, the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors, RICS, uh, the PCA and, and anyone you can to get the word out. I have published a whole year's worth of surveys. Uh, there are no surveys that I've done that I haven't published online. None of them had rising damp. Almost all of them had dampness at the base of the wall. None of them were caused by rising damp. They were either mains water leaks, drainage leaks, uh, condensation, hygroscopic salts, you name it, not a single one of them was caused by rising damp. Almost all of them had past damp proofing treatment. Some of them had rot that had resulted from the misdiagnosis of damp in the past. So I'm here to, to work together with you to try and change the way that damp is diagnosed in this country, but obviously other countries as well. I'm in the UK, but it goes for the same for the, the world as a whole. So every day this year, I'm going to publish, that's 2025, I'm gonna publish a damp survey in its entirety for every working day. Uh, I've got about seven years worth in the bank. Uh, none of them had rising damp. Uh, so please put in comments anything that you would like me to address in a, th in a theme. Uh, I also, when I'm looking at new surveys, I, I will take a themed approach to each one. I will show off a different, different technique, a different type of damp, uh, a different, different approach. Uh, I'm happy to help anyone that's looking for a new career. It's a wonderful career as a surveyor. If you want to be independent, you have an open mind, you have a critical, you take a critical analytical approach, it's a great way to me make a career. We need to get rid of the old surveyors that don't understand damp and bring on new surveyors with modern way of thinking about damp, uh, property, use modern techniques, modern tools, modern equipment, uh, and, and look at all my surveys, you'll see everything is covered there. So I'm happy to help you. If you help me, get the word out, tell everyone and subscribe. Thanks.